everybody and welcome back to another Croc-tober recipe. This recipe is very easy. I tried to give you really budget-friendly and easy recipes with my Croctober series. So if you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Click that little notification bell so you guys will be notified. Let's get into this video. So what we're going to do is chicken queso. I love this recipe because we can really stretch our budget. So an overview of what you're going to need. I got this big thing of chicken. I mean, chicken's pretty inexpensive where I live. It, this thing was $7.44 for this big thing of chicken. You're going to need diced green chilies, a big can of Rotel. I got these at Walmart. They're very inexpensive as well. We need some queso, so any type of queso that you guys want to use, a little bit of taco seasoning. And so what I like to do is just put all this in, it'll be shredded chicken queso. It is so good. And how I stretch this recipe is one night we'll have mini tacos, and then maybe the next night we'll have quesadillas. You can also put this on rice and kind of do a taco bowl. You can do taco salads. I mean, you guys, it's endless. You can put it on a hoagie roll or a ciabatta bun and do sandwiches. I mean, I love this recipe because it gives you a nice base of chicken and it's all cheesy and yummy. And then through that whole week, you can use all that chicken and make your meals different. So no one's really getting tired of the recipe and it's really stretching that budget for you guys. I know holidays are coming and I tend to really look exactly what I'm buying and stretch my grocery budget and my kids love it. It's very easy, simple. So let's go ahead and get right into me showing you how to do it. Honestly, you guys, it is so easy, but everybody in my family absolutely loves it. Okay, you guys, this is so simple. So you just want to take your chicken, put it in the crock pot, and I have some taco seasoning already prepared. I got this at Dollar Tree. So you just, any taco seasoning, you just want to pour over the top of the chicken. And then I take a little bit of chicken stock and put that down at the bottom if you were going to use this for several days. If this is just going to, if you don't plan on having leftovers, then you don't need the chicken stock. Then you're going to take a can of chilies and a big can of Rotel. If you like a lot of tomato, if not, just get the normal size small can of Rotel. And then any type of cheese, any type of queso, really any anything that you guys like, you just want to dump that all in. And then what I like to do is I like to mix everything together. That way I know it's evenly cooked and everything's just kind of perfect. So I just mix that together. And then after we mix it together, we are going to cook. It's so easy. So I use my big crock pot and what I do is I like to put mine on medium for about six hours, but just depending if you need it faster, you can do it high or low. And then in six hours, everything will be all cheesy and gooey and yummy. This is what it looks like after. It smells so good, you guys. And so what I like to do is I take the pieces of chicken out and I'll shred them one by one. You could shred them in your crock pot, but it's just so hot that I like to take each individual chicken, shred it really good with a fork and a knife, and then place it back in the crock pot and let it cook for a little bit. And this is what it looks like, you guys. It is so good. I love this recipe recipe because you can do so much things. You can do burritos, you can do enchiladas, you can do tacos. I mean, the sky is really endless. You can do nachos. It's very inexpensive. And this is the type of meal that will stretch that budget. And my kids and family absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for taking out the time and watching my videos. I appreciate you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.